I'm Peter Blinston, I'm the director of Painted Dog Conservation. The dogs for me have always been a passion I mean, since I was a kid. It's the dogs that really got me interested in wildlife. I was watching a documentary on TV when I was about eight years old about the dogs and that was it, I was hooked. We have around 700 dogs in Zimbabwe. Um, there's about six to 7,000 in the whole of Africa. The dogs really are very endangered. Zimbabwe is one of the few countries where painted dogs still have a fighting chance to survive because there's huge wildlife areas which can absorb some of the pressure from human populations. There are particular threats that are driving them towards extinction. At Painted Dog Conservation what we're trying to do is address as many of those threats as we can. One of the biggest threats to dogs in these areas is poaching. Guys setting snares for bushmeat and the dogs get caught in these snares all the time. They had a really nasty snare wound, uh, kind of cut underneath his chin. He's recovering really well, so... The reason we built all of this is that over the years we've dealt with a lot of snared, injured, orphaned dogs and we've often had to just treat them in the wild. We've immobilised them, removed the snare, cleaned up the wound and then just let them go. Yeah. So you're leaving them very vulnerable in that state. Like this guy here, a few weeks of recuperation will make all the difference to his chances of survival. One of the first things we did was employ anti-poaching units. Anti-poaching unit is a team of guys. They patrol in the bush. Our aim is to try and remove all the snares that have been set and reduce the number of poachers. Okay, suggestions on where to patrol today, Maclean? Our wildlife is in danger if we don't put a stop to it. These guys, they'll collect over 3,000 snares a year and that's three, 400 animals' lives that they save, let alone the number of dogs that they save. And we use those snares then at our art centre to create crafts. We engage 20 to 30 local people at the art centre and they gain employment from that. Yeah, it helps, it, it it helps a lot yeah. to support family because we are both family guys. Yeah, we are family men. Family men. <laughs> so yeah. we, are, we are benefiting a lot. Now, saving painted dogs, really, it's all about helping people. Our bush camp program is one of our flagship programs. We have a thousand children a year that come here. For many of them it's a really special, once in a lifetime event for them. In the, the four days that they're with us they learn all about the dogs, they learn about the environment, the habitat, they experience many new things. They're running up and down stairs going for game drives, running water, three meals a day and it's all stuff that we take for granted that it's so new and special to these children that, you know, who come from these very rural communities. And for many of them it's the first time they'll see any wildlife and again you can't expect children to care for something that they've never even seen. Because we take these children in, they're about 12 years old on average, and that's at the age where they don't have any preconceived ideas or opinions, and you can introduce new ideas, new thoughts, new concepts to them, and suddenly that impala is no longer meat, that tree is no longer firewood, it's a living breathing integral part of the system that they are also so dependent upon. <laughs> and it's only by changing that that the wildlife has a future. <laughs> it's a life-changing experience of people. You look at Pride. She came here as a 12-year-old. The bush camp changed my life and inspired me to be a journalist. I want our community and the whole world to love our wildlife. And that's how it should be. This is their heritage. The wildlife only has a future if these kids care for it. 
we employ a lot of local people, people like Jealous, who have come from very humble backgrounds and we've trained them up to become real experts, real specialists in their field. I'm the head tracker of painted dog conservation. Uh, it's a moving signal. Dogs. Jealous has won two conservation awards, one from Disney, one from the Van Tienhoven Foundation. He's a role model, not only to the children that come to the bush camp, but our own staff and to the community. Maybe they're coming this way. He's an expert in his field when it comes to tracking dogs. This time of the year, the dogs, they got uh, pups. So we need to see what kind of movement are they doing. I love my painted dogs. And his status in the community has really risen. I mean, he's quite an ambassador for PDC. Hi, Jealous. Good morning, Peter. How are you? All right, thanks. Uh, How was nice. the... Uh... Oh, this morning we just went looking for Malpa Pig. And his life has changed immeasurably because of painted dog. I'll okay, well, see you later then, yeah? Okay, thank you very much. Maria was selling baskets on the side of the road but she was such a personality that when we'd finished building the visitor center, we gave her a chance here. She's so good with people. A dog by the name called Eye Spot. Painted dogs are endangered species. My mission is to carry the word to each and every country. That is my mission and I'm getting there. It exposes them. If it was not for the dogs, I think I don't know where I will be. Because of the dogs, I am here and my life, personal life, has changed and my children's life has been changed as well just because of the dogs and the love we have or I have with the dogs, you see? Everything we do at Painted Dog Conservation is about creating an environment where the dogs can thrive and by working with the communities, delivering benefits to the communities, addressing their needs, you're creating that environment for the dogs to thrive.